and me this. Oh, okay. Activate. Oh. So you have up there with you is Gleam, Amador, and Polinella. Uh, definitely <laughs> with you. A very small dot. Yes. <laughs> Why are we stopping at this archway? I mean, I like architecture as, as much as the next guy, but should we keep moving on? <laughs> what is this place? Well, this is the halfway to the Raven Rock Mine and uh, Lockberry Henge. Raven Rock? Oh. Is that what you said? Brigand Rock. Brigand Rock. Oh, that sounds like a terrible Brigand place. Brigand Rock Mine. Or Brig <laughs> sorry, Brigand Knock Mine. Briga knock mine. Briga knock. Is that just a pillar that's like to our left right here? Yeah, so th this place is, I mean, it's really rocky terrain. There's a bunch of big boulders. Looks like a pillar. Mm -hmm. Shadow knock it down. Mm hmm. Yeah, wizard cast a like a destruction spell on that pillar. The pillar? I don't know. As a structural engineer in real life, that seems like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> in a past life? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe in a future life. Not sure what the timeline is. In this one, but, uh, one of my existences. Uh, yeah, I would highly doubt it. I only know levitate level one. I would need levitate level twenty to keep the roof from caving in. <laughs> oh, I see something ahead. Uh, halt! <laughs> yes. <laughs> see enemies. Strategically repositioning. Whoops. Excuse me. Uh, Liam, as you as you kind of come up to that <laughs> little archway clearing, uh, you see people worthy of fireball. <laughs> you see uh, what looks like three giant goats. Ooh, dinner. They're kind of they're kind of like pawing at the at the rough terrain, trying to look for stuff to graze on. Do they notice it at all? At all? Throw a can at them. Uh, are you trying to be stealthy? I mean, a little bit. I'm not not wanting to startle them, but I'm also not like presenting okay, myself. Uh, we're okay, we're 50 can, yards away, right? So, I mean, I mean, you can you can make a stealth stealth roll if you want. Sure, wanna... I'll try. I'm trying to be stealthy. Because that's like a really good attribute for me. They we look like they're they're look happy. like they're looking for food. Clunk, so as, goats clunk, are always clunk, looking for clunk, food. As you're, as you're clunking around, they kind of <laughs> stop and mm. look straight up at you. <clears throat> They don't seem intimidated by you. Well, they're big. Ah! <laughs> they seem aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, does anybody tell. speak goat? Can I try oh, to speak to them? Animal handling, hang on. Yeah, you can do, do an animal yeah. handling. Animal uh, handling? <laughs> yeah. I got this, guys. <laughs> you don't pet him? I don't have this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we got 12. I rolled a 5. Yeah, I mean, they seem pretty docile. No. Oh. Okay. From from here, yeah. They're just gonna... keep, keep moving up a little bit. Yeah, move up. <clears throat> oh, they're not. A... They're they're not yeah. bad goats. Yeah, you know, these guys are we chill. Call back to our partners. Is this the way we must we must traverse? Yes, through through this archway. Okay. Through those goats. Watch your step, guys. These guys leave big pellets. Peace. We're coming in. We're not. You know, calm. Pardon me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, goats. <laughs> we'll see, be right little, back. Can I turn and say, why are you talking like that? <laughs> <laughs> Where we come oh, from, no. goats okay, so, uh, We've insulted oh, them already. Oh, oh. See, does anyone... Okay, hold on. Are they... Does does can I walk too far? Can I do it Elvish. Again? Oh, Elvish. El yes, I do. Yeah, if, if you speak nope. Elvish, you can understand them. Otherwise, it sounds like bleeding, like. Oh. <laughs> oh, in English, I go Mah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> we so we must get, pass. As, as, as you get closer, uh, the, the first goat says, "When the moon obstructs the sun, creepy Lynn will come undone." Okay. Oh. 
Good to know. Uh, Next. The second the second goat uh, chimes in and says, "Play to her passion. Stay on script. A cat, a horn, or a shadow ripped." Cat or horn, shadow ripped. And and the third one says, "The fool's scepter is the key." Nice. All right. Thanks, guys. Excuse us. We're trying to get through here. So they just they kind of they kind of look at you. Uh, make a perception. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> What was the second one? Play to her passions. Uh, play to cat, a horn, or uh, something or other. Here, I'll, I'll copy. I'll copy this down. Cat, it. a horn, a shadow ripped. Yeah, and a five. That's not very much. Okay, so that's the first one. Hmm. Creeping one. Lynn. And so we have to. We have to have a play one. later. I think. <laughs> I call the cat. It, I'll do the cat. So it, yeah. It'll be the shadow Ooh, ripped. Looks... <laughs> 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 I'm going to be the horn. <laughs> no, it's horn, not whore. Yeah, it's how on hands. <laughs> it, it looks like they're kind of waiting for something. Hmm. Like they're expecting something. Yeah, you guys can just keep uh, waiting over there. Maybe they need one a tip? Maybe, we, are we supposed to like grass or anything Thanks, nearby? And pull up stuff. I mean, they were out. yeah. Maybe offer them. They were looking for food when we walked up. Maybe they they were hungry. Are you are you are you hungry? Oh, I can't speak Elvish, so. Oh, my friends are asking if you're hungry. Yes, we're hungry. Okay, there's food down the mountain. <coughs> I'm gonna offer them some some of my rations. I got some, you know. Yeah, they're hungry. They, they will accept food. Bread type. Okay. Things and sure, they, they will gladly accept. Do you guys accept yeah. pets? Are y'all good boys? We are not pets. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Who do you, do you serve? Do you serve? Insult them. I was just gonna try to push them, but I didn't want to touch them without getting consent first. So I was asking. Thought that was the purpose. Why use the spell? Yeah, they they kind of they kind of back out of your way a little bit. Nice. Do you guys want to join us as we go? Never mind. Never mind. We're good. So as you get to right about Wait. there, you start oh. hearing a like it's a loud thuds like. Uh oh. Boom. Boom. Some cyclops. Something's coming. Oh, yeah. Is that the cyclops? <laughs> Uh, see, guys um, with armor uh, should stand in front, guys. Polinella! You see this? Uh, you can look back. I mean, there's like a it's a like a 12, 13 foot cyclops in a beekeeper's outfit. What? I want to see this. Oh, yeah. no. oh shit! There he is. Oh, oh, awesome. Hold on, let me. Oh, hold on. Let me <laughs> here. Okay, uh, I both. Oh, he's he's, he's behind us. There we go. Okay, let me get a picture. We heard the the noise behind us or in front of us. Behind, behind. us. It's behind us. us. I'm looking. Uh, at oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> dear. Marshmallow man. Man, he is big. Yeah, that's not 13 feet, dude. He's like bigger than the mountain there. <laughs> Holy it's shit. A, maybe those are stalagmites. You see Amador and Gleam kind of move up a little bit to take some defensive positions. You give Polinella back! Is she the before, queen? or Before we can um, like do anything, I want to cast dress, Dreadful Aspect. Okay. <laughs> before we do anything, I want to cast Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to... Sneak attack! Uh, <laughs> no, and I added, I added a, a line on the bottom of that, but <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. I'm not. Okay, so... I don't have their insects anymore. I'm a blade oh, singer. So... Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, so what? Okay. So listen, sir. I failed to save the targets. Frightened for, frightened of you for one minute. The creature five of us. Okay. You gotta run. So. so yeah, I hate when you can 
there's uh, so these goats they scamper off i didn't choose them <laughs> They, they see they see something's, <laughs> something's coming. <laughs> Fuck that! <laughs> I just imagine you could use his hat as a tent and like mosquito netting, you just like sleep in it, you know. <clears throat> For one minute, it's uh, afraid. Oh, I should I should go ahead and lob a fireball at him so the timer starts right. Otherwise, we, your one minute's gonna run out where we. Think about it. Oh, yeah, we started. We started combat. By me doing that would start combat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Notice. I just wanted to jump up on that rock and then <clears throat> dreadful aspect. <laughs> what? Why won't it roll? Uh, is it not working? It's weird. Uh, I'll roll for you here. Okay. Strange. Like I could highlight, I can highlight my person, but I can't roll it. Oh man, and I'm last. <laughs> well, again, Ulrich. Oh, pilot error. I forgot there was a dialogue coming up for that. Um, we know this guy's bad. I mean, we don't need to talk. We're he um, he was kidnapping the bees, and he wants Paulinella. So well, I mean. Technically, all beekeepers kidnap bees, I guess. I mean. <laughs> yeah, but in, uh, in the yeah. world, you, you, breed out, uh, you hope that you breed out the people that remember <laughs> being stolen, and you just have them be happy and healthy. All right. <laughs> if, if we're sure, if we're sure this thing needs to die, then I shall draw my sword, and uh, rush rush forward. Uh, I've got thirty feet, so six, two, three, four, five, six. Guess what? You can throw at him because he's got to stay 30 feet away from me. <laughs> Run. Uh, I can action surge uh, to get another action to run to get within melee or. Uh, let's see. Do, Do you get next to him? Because then when he runs, you'll get a air, uh, opportunity attack. Yeah, apparently I don't have any ranged weapons. Throw your sword at him. All right. Yeah, I'll do a. <laughs> Just so we're clear, don't don't get within twenty feet of him. I'll do an action <laughs> surge. Okay. Get another. So I'll use my second action to move again, and then I'll use my action surge to attack with my long sword. You'll never take our B. Did that not work? Oh, here. Attack. That's a hit. 20. Yep. Nice. 10 points. I hope he's like, I wasn't going to hurt anybody. I'm nice. It's too late. The time for discussion is over. The time for violence is in here. I just came here to talk and this guy scared me and you're hitting me. <laughs> this guy's oh. burn me. This oh, I have a second attack, don't I? Uh, a second attack when using attack action. Oh, sorry. You disengage? That would be the safe thing to do. No, I shall attack okay. once more. Good deal. Just letting you know. Just letting you know I have advertised many Wait, moons are you, now. Are you doing okay, area so. effect spell? That... I, uh, my, my leg another is wet. 20. That's fine. That's fine. My leg is wet. I'm okay with that. It's still fireballing. Nine points. <laughs> okay. All right. So hit him for 10 and 9. Amador, finish him! Okay. Just... Finish him. I think he's got a few more hit points. Than that. <laughs> Some confidence there. I'll stay back and guard Polinella. <laughs> <laughs> his, his little rapiers, I mean, it's like this big. It looks like you got it. Oh, he's a dandelion. He's yeah, a little, he's, like a little he's, flower. Yeah, he's not very big, yeah. Oh, okay. He's like half your he's size. He's higher for these goats like, that are <laughs> He's like a halfling, so okay. He has to match with the bee. Oh, Based on their circles, though, I don't know. He seems very tiny. I still don't get how the physiology and the attraction works, but whatever. Um, pollination. Uh, we are going to cast fireball. I mean, you don't you don't not cast fireball. That's just how that works. 
<laughs> do if you don't want to hurt your your friends. I'm gonna cast fireball behind him, like a pro, and we're gonna go. I'm like eyeballing. I'm like sitting here, you know, uh, uh, old Rick's do, doing his thing, and it's like, all right, over here, carry the one. <laughs> Boom. Um, beautiful. And uh, I'm gonna do damage. Max oh, damage. Twenty three. Like. Boom! You know, and there we go. Andy. Oh, next time. So half, half of that, okay. Yeah, that would be uh, 11. <laughs> Do we round up? Is that allowed? Uh, yeah, I think it does round up. Uh, no, it rounded down. That's or, okay. No, it rounds down for... Yeah, that's crap. That's fine. It's like an explosion of a rock and debris comes from behind him. Surrender, ah! foul beast. Yeah. Surrender and we shall spare your life. Just Don't make promises pull. we can't keep, Ulrich. <laughs> I need Polinella to make best honey mead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No one's making any honey for you. Hang on, guys. Run. Let's hear him out. We've got mead? Hang on. <laughs> he has to run. He's within 30 feet of me. Right. Misa, was that it? I was, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm fine. Oh, is he scared? All right. He's going... Uh, he can't he's move right. toward Liam. I he's, if he's within 30, he has to run away. Within 30 or up to... Within, within 30. He has to move back one step. He has to go back. Oh, opportunity. Oh, he attack. has to, like, keep his distance. Yeah. <clears throat> and then he gets to roll a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, or he can take a opportunity attack on that. Smack him. I shall smite you a third time. <laughs> oh, it's like mm. I saw that one Thir rolling. 13? Uh, no. <laughs> Mm. He's quick for a big guy. Okay, so he will use his, his uh, great club. He pulls out his club. It, it has a ten foot reach. So um, I mean, this thing is that is a great club. It, it is, <laughs> Give it that. Swing it, swing it, I'm, Rick. Whoa, I'm excited. Duck. It's like a tree. Uh, oh, oh um, shit! You rolled a nine. Got an eighteen. Plus I three. think that is a hit. Yes, that is a hit. Okay. How far oh, back does he fly? That's what I want to know. How far back do you go? Oh, my <laughs> God! He golf shot him. Yeah, he just, <laughs> I just imagine he's swinging like he's swinging like this, like like uh, where is it? Uh, wait, how come I can't do anything? That's half my hit points, people. Let's put this <laughs> thing down. He'll use his. You want me to touch you? I thought uh, we used to be able to like mark on the thing, but I can't mark anything. He'll use a multi, his multi attack, and he'll th he'll pick up a rock and try to throw it at Liam. But Wait, can he attack me? Um, I don't think he can. Give an enemy me. disadvantage when attacking an ally. Uh, protection. Well, he has he has disadvantage anything over thirty feet, anyways. Oh. Hold on, well, let me read it because I don't think he help. can attack me. Oh yeah, I can throw it. Dang, still twenty-two. Twenty-two? <laughs> that's that's. Look out, Ulrich! He's throwing rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Ow. So this rock just explodes right on that ledge. Mm. Are, you, are you down? Is that, is that a down situation? I don't think so. No, I'm not down. Oh, it's for you. I thought he, th I thought he threw it at Ulrich. I was like, oh shit, he oh, knocked him with no. a thing and then he just no, types him. No, I would have been, yeah, I would have been. Slammed at Ulrich and picked up a rock and chucked it at me. I'm a little bit over half my points. You're gone. I think I get one tap of <clears> that <throat> shit. Yeah, uh, I have 32. <laughs> shit hits me, I'm done. Must kill him faster. I think we're going to need to pull out the big, the big guns on this one. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something 20, to this guy. 5, 30. So I'll just run up there. I don't think she can do anything. Uh... Is he made of inorganic materials, such as stone, crystal, or metal? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. He is very organic, and Polinel just <laughs> kind of cowers in fear behind Amador. <clears throat> Liam. Well, it's already <laughs> my turn. Shit. Hold on. I was looking. Um, when he threw that rock at me, I went into Hell Tribute. Can I do that real quick before? 
Is that a Our reaction? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can go ahead. Smite the... <clears throat> So it's the DC 15 dexterity. 15. Nope. Come on. Ish. Oof. Nice. Damage. <clears throat> now, let me get my spells. It's like some of his furs catch on fire. <clears throat> Right, I want to cast this on his head. Darkness, okay. Like, I'm going to over his head where you can't see. <laughs> okay. Let's see, is there... Uh... Mm. Is there some darkness? I guess that'll be like a disadvantage on attacks if he's still in it, probably. Yeah, I mean, is anybody he's attacking. Okay. How do I remove that template? Click on the uh, yeah, template tap yeah, bar thing. Measurement and... control, and then yeah. hover over it and push escape or delete. It's not yeah. doing it. I think there's a clear all templates button too or something. So I, can, I can probably get Oh, it. you gotta go to the measurement I icon and do your circle. Yeah. Alright, thanks. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna, dug, oh. I'm gonna duck down behind that rock now. Okay. You gotta throw the next rock with such force. Brave that Liam ran dead. away. Yeah. Liam that rock Liam <laughs> ran away. <laughs> it's gonna slide down all this debris from that previous rock. <laughs> Alright, uh, catch me. Okay. Uh, the measure how far I will join the fight if I can get my character move. There we go. I think it was. Now I lost where I was going to go. 35 feet. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to rush forward. Oh, he's over there. Okay. <laughs> what are you guys fighting? Oh, oh there he is. What are you guys doing? Oh, shit. That's a big one. <laughs> Whoa. Um, and I cast this. Uh, it's called a, a mind sliver. And it uh, is going to put psychic energy into his brain. Um, and it does some damage, but then it also... Uh, so he has to roll intelligence um, saving throw, yeah, and if yeah, exactly. And so if he fails oh, he that, crit. he's now. Oh, oh he crit. Well, that's him. Oh, never mind. I got that. Okay. So... It, still, it still does stuff, right? <laughs> uh... Oh damn. Okay, so succeed or take one d six damage, and oh, spells damage decreases by one d six. That does nothing. If or increases. Oh, it doesn't say it halves it or anything. No, it so doesn't it just do anything. Like... If, he, if he passes, nothing. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, man. I was so a good he was... He was... This big, dumb guy rolled a... a... <laughs> He's an idiot savant. Freaking 20. Yeah. Yeah. He, he just can't help it, man. He's a great savant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was a 19. It wasn't a... No. <laughs> what do you call it? But it doesn't matter. It's, it's really, yeah. really high. So the idea was that it was going to also lower his, his ability to do... Uh, saving throws so uh, when you hit him uh, with the fireball yeah. it would probably work but mine didn't work so <laughs> I just like and he just kind of goes oh. yeah. <laughs> Puny and that's man. all I can do My uh, I don't have strong. multiple attacks right. <laughs> yeah I know well, I know what the heck we'll teach you wow. to enslave our His new friends too big. to make your alcoholic beverages which by the way can we taste before we get to the I will. Can we try this thing? <laughs> I will be using probably be using precise strike on this. Oh, I will be using precise strike on this, which gives me advantage on the attack roll. Nice. Uh, that's a miss. Yeah. <laughs> and um, well, I only expend precise strike if I hit. So I uh, for my second attack, I'll do the same thing. Um, 
Precise Strike Part 2. There's even more <laughs> Precise Strike. <laughs> hey, that's a hit. There you go, yeah. Uh, that's damage uh, plus 1d8. Uh, nice. 20 points of damage, nice. and I do expend a Precise Strike. I don't know, 18, right? Uh, and then, is, do I have a, what did, uh, what did uh, this, uh, Salundalonia or whatever, did, what did they do last turn? Did they, did they have a ranged weapon? Uh, they, no, they just ran up. Uh, catch me, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you're within 30 feet, do you have a ranged weapon? Uh, a ranged weapon? No. Okay, well, never mind then. Only, only, <laughs> only, like, ranged Freedom. magic. <laughs> Yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30, yeah. Weapons don't... are for people with low intelligence modifiers. Liam, Liam is not. Uh, Actually, it doesn't have to be a ranged attack, right? It just has to be an attack action. Um, I can do commanding rally to, as a bonus action, let one ally within 30 feet attack with plus D8 damage. Do you want, do you want to do that, Catch me? Sure. Uh, yeah, I won't try and do the stupid... <laughs> Mind sliver next time. There's no way you missed well, that. Yeah, that was luck. <laughs> I don't, maybe a, casting a spell is not a attack action, though, is it? I do have a oh. spear I can run, but I was going to do something else. Yeah, that's, that's right. Something. I'll save it. Somebody, says, somebody get within says, 30 feet of me for next turn. Says you make a ranged spell attack. Oh, well. Against the target. Yeah, well, yeah why not? All right. Go for it. Zap him, catch me. <laughs> Uh, just a minute. It's only going to be you know, six turns from here. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yes. It's an it's a instant. Yeah, you yeah. do it right oh, now. It's, it's not your turn. Oh. And oh, you get a plus, I get to do it now. And you get a plus D8 damage if you hit. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I get, commanding you to go out I get yeah. extra fireball. damage. Use your yep. fireball. You have fireball, right? Get a hit. Nah, ah. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. I clicked the wrong button. Well, Where's my rolls fireball? Roll? No, no, I, I meant to do fireball and I did fire bolt. Okay. Uh, this one doesn't say ranged attack though, but it's yeah. kind of the same thing, right? It's an action. It's the same. It's the same action as fire bolt. Okay. Um, I think one is well, maybe not, right? Because the the one goes against his attack, which is his AC, right? A ranged uh, attack versus like a, a, yeah on a hit. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. So that it'd probably have to be Firebolt. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, nice try, Kishmi. And so next time. And did I miss? I missed. Yes. Suck. So the thing is, as he's like blinded, he's kind of moving around. It's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does that count as my turn now? No. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, that was my bonus action. Oh, okay. Tricky. All right. Uh, Amador is, <laughs> says, maybe you do need some help. And he'll, use, uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll pull out a little, little sling with a seed. <laughs> See? <laughs> Although it's pretty far. Any, wow, I'll say, anything far. with enough speed is deadly. <laughs> oh, oh dude, no. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Oh, it got wrapped around his hand. Yeah. <laughs> Ding! Ow! Damn it! I'm sorry, friends. <laughs> a seed just isn't gonna do it. <laughs> it's a dandelion seed, so it kind of floats yeah. in the air. It's very, it's very <laughs> apropos. It's like one of his babies. I'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where's my thing? Dang it. Doing my math again. <laughs> and uh, so we smack the shit out of him. We're going to roll some damage. Let's see if there's any bad ones. We got a one. I'm going to re-roll the one using my... Uh, hang on. I have to look at this. Look, using my meta magic. I will empower this spell, which allows me to re-roll any dice that I want up to one dice. Um, nice. So, <laughs> <laughs> up to one dice. So, so it's 25 currently. So 25 re currently, so I'll reroll D6. Slash R, D, 6, 4, plus 3. And then, because I have two of these, 
That's fine, actually. I'm fine with that. Uh, that ends up being 29. So, okay. Yeah. Bird, you giant! Or you one eyed sucker! Let's do, let's do that there. That's close enough, right? Give me the free one. It's fine. There you go. <laughs> oh, he's still. Well, oh, he needs to make a saving throw on that, though. No, we assumed he lost. Ah, oh, shit. Ooh. No, he lost, yeah. Ooh, oh, he, he did lose. Yeah. Yes. He has no dexter. He's not dexterous. Yeah, no dexter. They, they can tie his shoes so fast. And he needs to do disadvantage on all his rolls, by the way. Uh, yeah. Oh, he needs to. Doesn't he need to make it like another save? For being the, afraid, yeah. but the darkness is, is on his head. I cast it on his head. True. It moves around with him. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess uh, I kind of canceled that out anyway. So, yeah, he's going to try. He's going to swing oh. blindly at Ulrich. Hey, I was going to move but real quick. Can you move, just move me behind uh, Liam? <laughs> You join I'm, not, I'm not taking a I saw how easy it was for him to chuck a rock at somebody, so I, I'm fine. I'm just going to pop out and shoot him. It is a meat shield. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we got a big rock. You were like, yeah. so attack with disadvantage. We, we never asked how tall this rock was. Ah, damn how it. tall is this rock? That's it. <laughs> Even with oh. disadvantage. Oh, crap. You got a oh my god. Boric. <laughs> I'm just can, swinging wildly here. Can you lay All your right. hands from downtown? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that hurt. Well, he's gonna swing again. Shit. Advantage. Aha, that's a miss. Okay. Nice. Ah, boom, boom. Surrender, there's still time for you to surrender. She'll run up and try to stab him. <laughs> Uh, that's actually a hit. Okay. Nice try. Nice what? try. Every little bit helps. Salon. Stand back. Right. Uh, Liam. I'm going to jump back up on the rock real quick. Right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like whack a mole. Like Spider Man. Hand. He's got to do a, a wisdom saving throw with disadvantage. A 15. Okay. Disadvantage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Grovel! <laughs> <laughs> so he's... He goes, down he goes prone. And that's the end of his turn. So he's done. All right. So he is... Zoom in here. Prone. And then I'm going to duck down behind the rock again. Okay. <laughs> Catch me. Doesn't seem right. chivalrous to attack this foe when they're groveling. No, you should attack them while he's groveling. <laughs> Hopefully, you get advantage. Yeah, if they're prone, you get advantage. <laughs> mm -hmm. The old, yeah. Uh -oh. The giant's now groveling. What happened to Liam? Oh, you fucked him over with mind games. Yeah. Commanded him. Okay, now he has to do a DC 15. Yeah, I think he's gonna have disadvantage on that because. Yeah, he'd have to like roll. Ooh, a one. Oh, yeah, yeah. what? Yeah. He needs to fail. Alright. Get your damage. Oh, there's that many dice. 20, okay. We are. Fireball machine guns. <laughs> and he's just <laughs> soaking it up. <laughs> yeah, like more of his clothes are on fire and smoldering, like some of the flesh is <laughs> singed. So we are burning badly. them on playing psychological yeah. games with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost scarier right. for us, though. First, I'm going to yeah. use Second Wind. And run like a bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need to get behind this rock real quick. It's the safest place on the map. <laughs> yeah, impervious to his rocks. Oh, come on. <laughs> so I get eight points. Okay. Uh, That's enough to take a look. And oh. now I will precise strike again. <clears throat> With advantage. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. Oh, I get advantage... Yep, he's, he's because prone. he's maybe I don't want to use precise strike then. I'll just use precision attack then with my superiority dice. Uh, can you try to stab him like if he's prone? Can you try to stab him in the nape? 
25 plus uh, an extra d8. Oh, nice, it remembered the last. Oop, not a crit. Normal. Ah, come on. Five okay, points. Okay. Um, uses a superiority <laughs> die. Okay, one Storm snake eyes on no, no, I'll hit him again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll hit him again. <laughs> All right. What are the odds of that? That was crazy. Yep, that's a hit. Which is just regular damage. Wait, what? Oh. You're doing so much damage when you're getting it now. It's like... Yeah, yeah well, I didn't use any advantage of advantage those dice. Oh. All right, well, that's it for me. Okay. Door will try to sling again. <laughs> oh, but huh? No, <laughs> it's advantage this time, though. 13. Nice. A... Ting. <laughs> the seed. <laughs> Not the seed. Oh, oh my god. That's, that's enough to kill him. What? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I hit some right in the yeah, right so goes, I've been <laughs> smacking him non stop, and uh, your little uh, dandelion uh, kills <laughs> How, how, how crazy. crazy. How yeah. epic. No! I'll do it! <laughs> I'm gonna run over to the dandelion and pat him on the back. Good job, man. You smack him. Stop. Uh. Flower. Steal my glory. I want to loot the mead. Imagine how big the bottle is. Like, it's like a cask, right? Or something weird. Give yourself 15 more points, Lorik. I'm touching you. Lay your hands oh. on me. But, but I'm touching you while I'm touching myself. So. Lay your oh. hands on me. Nice. Lay your hands on me. Nice. Nice. Is that a mutual touching? That's a... yeah, well, I'm doing it at the same time I'm touching myself. Uh. So. He doesn't myself you're doing me. this. You're like holding on to him and you're just like touching your nipple. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, my camera's too high. You couldn't see that. Try again. How, are you okay now? Uh, yeah, I'm at so I, 37 out of 37 out of 52. Okay, because I have other healing <laughs> stuff I can do too. Uh, oh, should be okay as long as we get to rest before we uh, fight something else. We I brought me, I brought me back up to 43 out of 58. How big do you think his hat is for real? <laughs> <laughs> He's 15 foot tall. Yeah, that's, a, that's a big fucking hat. That's like at least yeah. five or six foot diameter. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's like a tent. That is a mosquito net. I mean, with the REI and got one of those now, it's not easily a few hundred bucks. We should steal his hat. We can yeah. uh, carry that around. <laughs> can we take a short rest? Uh, yeah. Can I equip this great club? Um, <laughs> you just drag it behind you. For... Yeah, it's it's taller than you. <laughs> I'm, I'm a strong paladin boy. <laughs> Sorry, Dark. No, go lay down. Go lay down. Go back. Sorry. All right, so yeah, he killed uh killed the cyclops here. Hey, you guys take a short rest if you need to. Yeah, hey, look okay. at that! You guys gonna recuperate. Fifty three, fifty eight. I'm good to go now. Okay. Let's find him again. Do anything for me. I want to res him so he's fine guard now. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna resurrect him so we can find him again because I'm back to full, almost full health. <laughs> Skeleton comes out of the ground. That'd be a cool undead to have walking around with us. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> yeah, on him you like can find Diablo. some, some like uh, I guess it'd be the size of like a cask, a cask to you guys, but to him it'd be like just a small. Since drink we can't carry it, let's just drink it while we're resting. <laughs> That's well, Misa wanted to taste it. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, you can just crack one open and. We'll throw that a is, little uh, short party here. Get a little fire mm -hmm. going. Yeah, it's it's like it's some of the best honey mead you have ever tasted. Hey, Paul and Ellen, high is, quality. Is, is, is some of your is some of your vomit in here? <laughs> <laughs> seems proud that you come in. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I'm not. I'm, I have mixed feelings now about us killing the creature that made this. Uh, a little bit of bee slavery for some badass mead almost seems worth it. Almost, I said almost, Paulinella. Almost. 
<laughs> what are you brothers and sisters going to be doing now? Yeah, since you don't have to run away from the Cyclops. Would you yeah. like to make mead because you want to? Do, do we need to go find his... Uh, Is it voluntary his, servitude? Yeah, his voluntary. lair or something and free the rest of the bees? Or are they just going to starve to death? Well, it looked oh, like they're on his point. stick, right? What's on his... At least his picture showed on his stick. So yeah, so there was like it, like kind of a small beehive on his on the st stick he was carrying, but they all kind of flew off back toward, I guess, the east here. Hmm. Are uh, Polinella are all of the bees, um, you know, like smart like you are, like? Or does this <sighs> does Polinella have a ring of stupidity or something like that? Last game. Okay, sorry, say it again. <laughs> Was, uh, I was just going to ask Polinella if all of the bees are um, smart enough to, you know, talk and make. Uh, no, they're they're giant bees, but they kind of you know have that hive hive mind mentality. So mm. <laughs> they'll they'll kind of go back to their home, expecting the queen to to follow suit, but I mean, she just didn't want to go. So they kind of go back toward the east. And you can see like where like big footprints of where Cyclops is walking from. Should we go back to his house and see if he's got more stuff we can pilfer? Well, we were supposed to go through this archway to head towards wherever we were going. Lockberry Hinge, right? I just imagine yeah. if there's we better loot see because of the the other guy that could help us on our journey. I mean, all be big. They're probably going to want to go with us anyway. So they're not going to stay out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we just help rescue them from the Cyclops. They can at least show us the way. You can you can follow them if you want to, or you can continue on the other path. Yeah, it's just that it's a different direction, Lee. Let them go back to their home, and maybe we can buy later. I'm saying, no, they can go with us because we just saved their ass. They should like show us where we need to go. Oh. But they like when that oh, uh, muscle Titus memory kind of thing. They, they, they went back, though. Oh, I'm, I was talking mm -hmm. about the Polinella, the, the Dandelion, the guys that are with us. Oh, yeah, I oh, think they're oh. coming with us. They're, oh, they were going to leave? They're, I thought, I thought they, they were, were leaving they were, us they were, too big. They were following you. Like, they were okay. giving you directions to Lockberry Hinge. Oh, yeah. This oh, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I was asking about the rest of the bees. We can rescue the other bees later. Okay. I'm down. So through the, through the archway? Yeah. Okay, so you all... Back this way. Okay. Mm. So we need to go. Let's see. I'm gonna head this way through the other little opening. <laughs> Are we down by the lake now? Is that a food truck? What is that? Food truck. Food truck. Yeah. So yeah. So there's this, this open this open lake here. Water's Water's pretty clear. It's still pretty cold. Uh, you stumble upon a what looks like a wagon yeah. with curtains on the side. <laughs> Medieval food truck. And some flags flying just in the, in the breeze. Uh, let's see. Can we peek inside? Uh, yeah. As you as you get up to it, uh, there's a little sign that says, uh, "Next show in two minutes." Perfect timing. Yay! Go take a seat out front. Could this yeah, be the play any... that that we have? Bo stools or anything? Uh, no, there's there's no seats, but you can sit out front. And a few minutes pass, and the curtain goes. And uh, you see, what looks like little marionettes. Uh, make a make a perception check, all of you. Okay. I don't like perception. What do we chance. have here? I perceive nothing. Yeah, same. Hmm. I should have done an inside check. Uh, cash me. You. The the way these marionettes look look really familiar. Like they may be you, <laughs> and your oh. friends. They're like nice. Yes. And so yeah, the background says. The background's this big rocky scene 
and you see these four people just kind of go, <gasps> kind of flop down onto the onto the floor of the scene here, and they kind of stand up and start <laughs> on one side, and you see another marionette or three other marionettes, one of what looks like a an elf, the other one looks like a little dandelion, and then like there's just <laughs> a little, little a bee just kind of hovering. Above. It's and just like, a wire with a ball. <laughs> and then, like little huh. like it's not really audible words, but it looks like they're having a conversation. And then <laughs> it looks like word travels fast. They seem to be replaying our and then, and our and adventures. Then <laughs> and then you see in the background changes. There's this archway, and you see little like sock puppet goats. They kind of <laughs> and, and the little marionettes. Are... <laughs> I think somebody's been watching it. I know it's gonna guys, happen, guys. It's like <laughs> I'm watching the show. Be quiet. <laughs> and then you see like, like this big puppet hand just go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> And they reenact some kind of fight, and then the, the puppet hand, the big puppet hand, just kind of slumps over, and then it, all the characters kind of trump off stage. And <laughs> How the did they close, and then all the sign comes down and says to be continued. How did, how oh, did they handle the future. effects of the fireballs? Did they do like CGI or like you know visual effects? Oh, I'm sure it's like those, or... like those paper, or oh, like yeah. the, the cardboard things that kind of. That's cool. Okay. Like That's very cool. low quality, low nice. fire. Wouldn't you know, I wanna, be like, I wanna, do they have like a tip jar? Do they have a tip jar or anything? Tip jar, um, th but there is oh. a uh, a little slot that opens up in the front of the wagon and spits out. Uh, let's see, what's it spit out? It spit out uh, four tickets, and each of the tickets say, "Good for one private audience with Endelin Moongrave, no strings attached." And then it goes, just shuts real quick. Take the ticket. Who's that? Who is Endolin Moongrave? I don't know, but she puts on a hell of a puppet oh. show. Did y'all see that maybe power of the puppet? Maybe what sexy. happened, maybe she could see what will happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want to continue mm. on? Sure. Yeah. Do we... Okay, yeah. Yeah, y'all kind of all write in like you have a, a ticket to meet Endelin Moongrave. Okay. <clears throat> so the the ledge up here it gets it starts getting it starts getting pretty steep. Um, you can probably find some footholds here and there, uh, but it's pretty slow going. Uh, what about, about those of us that are really really dexterous? Not a big deal. Yeah, it's it's not it's not that big of an issue, and you can help each other up. Can I just misty step to the top? Uh, it's pretty far. <laughs> Can I multiple misty steps? No, yeah. <laughs> misty step. I need a nap. Yeah, I'm not sure. Guys, give me a second. About about halfway up the cliff here, uh, you see, um, what looks like a goblin child. Hmm. Uh, in the goblin child's hand uh, is a string, and it's attached to a kite. It's uh, hanging about uh, forty foot, you know, 40, with a forty foot long string. It has five blue bows tied along the length uh, at eight foot intervals. Math so checks out. Foot? Yeah. Yeah. Math I don't checks like out. Kids. I'm gonna attack the string. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the bows. <laughs> oh, this is very strong. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, as you. The string yeah. dodges. <laughs> this kind of like away. Uh, as, as you get close to the little goblin it says my arms are so very sore I don't want to fly this kite anymore but if I let go of the string creeping Lin says I'll become an old thing the curse comes from those five blue bows but they won't come off while the wind blows this, this goblin looks like very depressed the curse comes from the five blue bows but they will not let go while the wind blows. Hmm. No idea what that means. Well, the wind is keeping the kite up. Mm -hmm. And he has to continue to fly the kite as long as it will fly. But if he stops flying the kite, he grows old. I want to firebolt the kite at the top. Uh, and I, I want to... Do we uh, have a spell that can like put it in a, in a cone or something that stops the wind mm -hmm. from touching it? That's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to take the, the material off the kite so that it would have nothing to grab the wind and it would fall down. 
But I have, but I have to hit it, and so I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, yeah. But the good news uh, is, so it's a cantrip, the only thing keeping you young is those kites. <laughs> 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 He said he's tired. He wants to be done. Creepy, creepy Lynn put a curse on me. Okay. Why? Well, what would you do to her? I got you, buddy. I mean, I've heard of nothing but good things about her. <laughs> what did you do to her? Uh, it's our sacred quest to destroy her, Liam. <laughs> oh, I forgot. She, she caught me stealing. She put the See? spirit on me. And... I mean... Okay, in this case, maybe. But... <laughs> I, shot a, I shot a 15 attack firebolt at the, the thing. Okay. Um, what is its what is its AC? That's the kite. kite. This is the kite's AC? Uh, let's see. It's not wearing armor, so probably a ten. It's, yeah, got to be nothing, right? <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's so. dexterity. <laughs> Drew, what do you what do you roll against when it's a magic spell? Oh, I should have done magic missile. I don't have that actually. Oh uh, yeah. It's a guaranteed hit. Yes. But at the same time, if you had a kite that just gets hit by like force, it'd be like, it wouldn't do anything. You have to burn it so that it like could fall it down. It just keeps flying higher. Yeah, you're just pushing it higher. Yeah, if you that jerk the little kid off the ground, you know, each time. <laughs> All right, so you're okay, rip it so to you're shreds. Using firebolt. Okay, so roll some damage then. Oh, 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 yeah. All right, crit it, crit it, baby. Go with that. Six. That's got to be enough for a kite, right? Okay, so yeah, so you hit. Uh... I'm not going for the string. I'm not trying to be fancy. I'm just trying to so, yeah. burn the kite itself. Okay. Um, yeah, you hit the kite, and one of the one of the bows like bursts into flame. Um, yes. You immediately see that this uh, that this goblin. It's like she ages. Probably about eight years. Shit. Oh. Like, we should talk to her first. Uh, mm, yeah. And the, the kite starts okay. to kind of wave. We've established. Bit She's not lying. <laughs> so I guess do you want us to stop this or not? Yeah. So so I guess the question is to the goblin, knowing that you may die if this falls, is that okay? Maybe I deserve this, but if there's a oh way to break gosh. this curse. Oh, okay. So I don't know. this doesn't break the curse. This. How long have you actually been here holding this kite? Uh, let's see. Like, what if she really is 80 and it just is going back to her age and then she just happens to die? It's not on us, right? <laughs> Maybe uh, if she could just keep flying it, uh, we'll go find this uh, this witch and we'll finish this finish her. I've, I've been out here for at least two months. That's not years. Yeah, yeah okay. So that's fine. Um, but you're hungry. I'm starving. We don't have any food, sorry. I can't let the kite fall. Can we hold mm. the kite? Yeah, you want to go and grab Yeah, it, you it. should do that, Misu. <laughs> I grabbed the last cursed <laughs> item. I'm, I'm, like I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Ooh, piece of cake. You're, you're done with the uh, cursed I'm done with the cursed <laughs> items. This one, I knew about it ahead of time. <laughs> uh, and you're full of computers just encourage it. <laughs> I can just ask you guys to do it. Nah. Uh, no. I'm good. What, about, uh, what about the little bee? You know, little bee, you want to take it? See it. Do you think any of those those riddles can help us here? Excuse me. The moon blocks the sun. Creeping Lynn is undone. This is Creeping Lynn's I think magic. you got to stop the wind. I mean, they she said as long as the wind blows. Ah. we got to stop the wind somehow. So you see, like the the kite is like it's still falling a little bit, but it's trying to now it's trying to pull away, and the goblin's trying to hold on to it. I don't have any spells to do this. I don't either. I don't have any. Mage hand, no. You see the goblins like really trying now to start now the kites really start to pull. Uh oh. Hmm. She's uh, like really trying to grip on. Do you have any? Is it, does anybody have any rope? Maybe we can just tie her down. 
Yeah, we I have, a, I have a lightning lure. Lash or to a big boulder just nearby. Set the call it to a rock. No, like <laughs> tie the string. Tie tie a rope to the string, you know. But you have to touch the string to tie the rope to the string. Aren't you going to do that, Kashmir? <laughs> I don't think like, we're going to okay. be able to help her until we've we've killed this witch. I do have a rope. She's about to fly away, though. Wait a second. Mm. So what we can do? There's a there's a knot right where she has that line is taut. We can run the rope around it to tie it off to that rope. Have her at a stick so that it can't slide through, and then we can tie that to something else. And we have never touched the rope or the string. We are not cursed. We are just helping. So yeah. as as you are all discussing your plan, <laughs> she flies uh, away over here. The, She's the dead. kite. <laughs> Wrenches itself from her hand. Oh, oh no. she's good. That's good. Immediately oh, she's ages good. about fifty to sixty years. Oh, that's that's and what, what I was going to do to her. Anyway. Just starts withering and. <laughs> oh, oh no. man. we that suck. <laughs> well, then I, I'm going to loot her body. <laughs> I'm loot her. Pat her on the head and say I'm <laughs> sorry. Nothing but some rags. That's like, uh... Oh shit! Oh, did she, did she just turn to dust? Like she just keeps going and is like dust now, or what? <laughs> No, there's a, there's a dead old dead oh, goblin. Old dead goblin on the ground. Can I like tow her and push her off the edge of the mountain? No, can I check her pockets? Cheap... She doesn't have anything. Nothing. It's just rags. Nothing. I push her down the mountain. Oh well. Well, she doesn't need. You can't it. win them all. Me catch me. She doesn't need it. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to look at this goblin, so I'm going to push it off the mountain. <laughs> Stealing. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're gonna have to watch this when we come back down the mountain and see the little puppet flight, right? <laughs> we're gonna see Liam just fucking Spartan kick her ass off the mountain. <laughs> this is John. <laughs> I think the only thing we can give her now is vengeance. We need to find this. That's right. Find this witch. I want to turn to the the Daily Line guy and the other guy and like, man, y'all's fucking homeland is is awful. It's it's awful. Yes, it's terrible. Terrible. It's awful. Let's see. I want to continue on. You have to, right? Can't help her anymore. Got to fucking go. Good job, guys. We saved like our losses. <laughs> I just want to go on record as saying, out of the four of us, I was the only one that tried to help. So I try to cut the string. Okay, okay. Me and it you just alone tried miserably. to help. Yeah, yeah, I ended up aging her a little bit beforehand. Oh, <laughs> oh there's a chessboard. Ooh, Who's good man. at chess? I'm not good at chess. Well, how we okay. know it's not checkers. Oh, <laughs> I'm also not good at checkers, surprisingly. So, um, so. Uh, atop um, a boulder, four. atop a boulder-strewn plateau, stands a circle of eight megaliths. In the center of this hinge, a small checkered game board with stone plane pieces rests on the ground near the dying embers of a campfire. Somebody was just here. Che chess pieces, or are they checkered pieces? Just a game pieces. A checkered game board, so it looks like chess. Looks like chess, uh, or okay. a, a version of chess that. Uh. I've seen this before. Each of us has to claim a piece and act it out. And we have to. <laughs> Don't do it, Harry. <laughs> it's okay, Ron. We'll make it. <laughs> oh shit! Let's do it, guys. I guess. I guess we go and inspect the campfire. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Is it? Is it been like? Is it just been put out? Is it still warm? Um, it's it still smoldering a little bit. Um. If you're inspecting the campfire, make a survival check. Ooh. Are you good at survival? I'm good at everything. <laughs> like the confidence. <laughs> and I rolled a one. <laughs> That's a fire. <laughs> let, let me help you. Oh, I, did, you, I got an 18. You know what you're talking about. Yeah. Hey. So you, you notice um, there's two sets of sooty the... footprints. That are coming from um, over from this direction mm -hmm. and this direction. Mm. I wouldn't have asked normally, but how big are the footprints? Uh, pretty pretty small. After we've seen a giant yeah. around, like about half small. half the size of your footprint. Well, uh, kind of kind of follow the footprints. 
Just investigate falling okay. and investigate it. And with the two different spots, I will, can I can I help you look over? I'll, I'll point them out. We'll point out the yeah. footprints to the other one, other people. I'll follow the one over here. You guys follow these footprints. Mm -hmm. So as you get closer, I feel like we should have interacted with this this chessboard. Let's see, two. It's still there. We can interact in a second. You see two of uh, <laughs> these. Pop oh, these guys are friendly. We're good. We saw their picture earlier. Mm. So they kind of, they, they kind of <laughs> like. It looks like they came off of the stones, and they're like. Uh, uh huh. So there's, uh, you can tell there's kind of like different oh, types of, of monoliths here. Uh, one that looks like uh, see shale, chalk, flint, granite, slate, basalt, and obsidian and marble. Like they're they're different materials here. Do I know what that what the one is in front of me? Do I know what kind um, that is? Slate, granite, not obsidian. So not obsidian. So yeah. So the one next to you, Liam says, "Halt! What do you want?" We come seeking your help. Ah, oh, you you come seeking the the help of. I don't remember what we we're trying to get help doing. I just know we're coming here to get help. <laughs> so are these guys like the little trolls in Frozen? Like they come out of the ground, like the little roll up, and you know, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we, we come we... to seek the help of of Queen Argantel, huh? Oh, it is like that. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with love. And the and the other one over by Misu just pops up and says, <laughs> "Jagu, Jagu, Jagu, you." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and the other one says, "says That's his name. His name is Jagu. I oh, am okay. Queen. Um, I am Queen Argentel." Oh, uh, your highness. Hi, Misu. Your Highness. <laughs> oh, it's it's she gonna bow to you, Liam's like royalty, I see, yes. <laughs> royalty begets royalty. <clears throat> out of out of I, character, what are we seeking help for? <laughs> we we're seeking favor with the Chorids, I think, to take out Creepy Lynn, right? Yeah, oh. to get a help help stop Creepy Lynn, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Use your sexy powers and greetings, stone yeah. stone goat people. I am Sir Ulrich of Salomnia. Did, uh, did you call them goat people? <laughs> we uh <laughs> how, how do you feel about this uh creepy Lynn character? <laughs> oh they have hooks. Okay, okay. Yes. okay. I missed that. Creepy Lynn, yes, yes, we hate creepy Lynn. You hate them. Excellent. The <laughs> then we too hate creepy Lynn. Yes, and that we're pretty sure all the Briganocks are in cahoots with her. Oh, mm, probably. Goddamn Briganocks. Yeah, what, uh, what's a Briganock? Trash is what they are. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know that. Yeah, we don't like them at all. They're real sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had to point one out, what would I look for? Let's see. Uh, you know, so well, forgive our friend. He does, he's not familiar. <laughs> Maybe you could recap. <laughs> yeah. They're, uh, they're like, um, oh, how would we describe them? Like little. Mole people, and she yes, describe. exactly. Mm. Describe. Yeah. Describe. Yeah. Like, uh, yes. yeah, those guys are shifty. Man, yeah. everybody in this place is uh, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Internal thought, Ulrich. Internal thought. <laughs> Inside voice. Uh, they are truly it's cursed with a vile demeanor. Back over to this game board here. So, uh, well, since we're awake, we might as well just finish our game. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. oh, yeah. What are you playing, Jagu? Jagu. Uh, it's called. Uh, it's called crowns. Mm. Kill everybody. It, it's, oh. yeah. <laughs> it's as they explain. It's it's very similar to Jess. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Very Don't people have to be on part? the board. I know the London opening. Yeah. I'll, I'll just say, what <laughs> opening do you prefer? Uh, so if you if you want to help. Uh, yeah. Mm. My daughter beat me uh, in chess the other day. <laughs> So it depend who who do you want to help? I'm Jagu. The queen. Jagu. I'll help Jagu. I'm definitely helping the queen. Okay. Uh, he he um, gets a raise if he uh if he beats her. So we're beheaded. Uh, okay, that's Misu, true, yeah. make a oh, shit. make an insight check. Oh, I'm and good at insight. Liam, you make one too. I'm good at insight. Mm -hmm. 
So am I. Nice. 17, Soko. 18. Wait, 17. Ah, oh, 13. Right. Yeah. Paper beats rock, sucker. Oh. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. Misu, you determined that uh, Jagu can beat uh, Queen Argantol in one more move. Ooh. Without my help, right? He just knows how to do it. He's just that good. Well, you you can. I mean, they're not the <sighs> brightest creatures, <laughs> and you could probably assume that you know the queen is more favored to win because she's the queen and they don't want to beat her. But so it's probably the right idea, though. I mean, that's ah, like I could beat her. But you recognize not... this, yes? Okay. Yeah. So are you are you are you telling me because I can I can really mess Jagu up without really hurting him? <laughs> no, I, I'm gonna not say anything. I don't think Jagu notices that he has this okay. game one and let it be okay. his own decision. Uh, I will, I will abstract, ab abstain from helping. Let's see, and just judge mightily if it goes the wrong way. So he's gonna. I will do this one here. Okay, yeah, so so Jagu doesn't really... It, he thinks he might see how to beat her, but... <laughs> Queen didn't actually see it. Doesn't, kind of seems a little... Like, she might know that she can be beat in the next move, but she's not saying anything. <laughs> so, I'm going to lean over to her. It's like, what happens if he beats you? I've never been beaten before. Would you like me to help ensure that? <laughs> uh, make a persuasion. <laughs> Are you gonna mind fuck this guy I'll, or something? I'll give you advantage too, since you're since you're technically still royalty. There you go. Twenty-three. Yeah, she, she doesn't. She seems pretty keen on the idea of. <laughs> I mean, I can distract him. <laughs> Just don't hurt him. Well, I mean, a little bit of pain. Is that okay? Mm. Nothing, nothing major. Like, what if he got <laughs> of fleas infested by fleas all of a sudden? Careful, Liam uh, likes pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Not emo the guy judge. likes the pain. Makes him feel things. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> hurt myself today. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna run command on him. Okay. Can't you just command him to lose? Yeah, he's got to do a DC okay, so. 15. Hmm. Knock over his king. Okay, so what do you Forfeit. what do you want him to do? Forfeit. So, oh, Forfeit. wait. Just go, nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, it, it can't be forfeit though. Hang on, out, out of character, it can't be forfeit though, right? Because that would be like obvious. You got to like he's sort of try. Oh, right? he, the queen he can, doesn't he can want sit there and say, I'm, 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 I see, I'm gonna lose and just forfeit. So it's, <sighs> so it's gotta be a, a one word command right yeah that's why i said but you, forfeit. Can, you can make it forfeit if you want yeah, yeah. yeah. forfeit so, so <laughs> queen argantle's kind of staring at jagu and looking up at you and like, what's he doing is this working <laughs> and jagu just starts looking real frustrated <laughs> like he's really trying to get that last move <laughs> ah, jagu <laughs> <laughs> he flipped, like, flipped the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this thing is huge. So he's like, flip some of the pieces. Whoa. Like, oh. uh, Queen Argenta either. wins again. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if this was going to be like a like a like a not like a knight's tale thing where the king you know goes down and jousts with everybody and then he wants somebody to actually challenge him because he always wins. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was going to go poorly. Sorry, I don't but... get that as her kind of thing. No, she seemed very happy that he fucking just <laughs> this rolled over. Yeah. So... <laughs> All right, so hold on, let me get this. Good job, I've had, I've had Jagu on the back. Better luck next time, dude. Better luck next okay. time. Um, so Queen Argantol thanks you tremendously, and she picks up kind of like a a, uh, a lump of rock that's sitting there, and like squeezes it tightly between her hands and then out pops this well what looks like a uh, like a very 
pristine sapphire. Ooh. Nice. That's nice. Hands it to you. Thank you. Uh, what is the cash option on this price? <laughs> uh, it's 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 faintly glowing. Um, if you you think you could probably sell it for about a thousand. <laughs> That's pretty nice. That's pretty it's, nice. It's a pretty nice jewel, yeah. <laughs> Does it have any magical properties? Oh, good question. Uh, you could make an arcana. I can just mm. ask her. She just uh, made it. Misu? Look at it. Yeah, I can look at Misu, it. Misu, look at this, because I don't... I got magic, too. I can do the same thing. I'm looking at it over your shoulder. Oh, yeah. 18, you got it. 18. You didn't even roll it. Yeah, so y'all... Uh... Oh, Kashmir is also looking at a. You think this could be considered like a stone of good luck? Yeah, I'm definitely pocketing that. Uh, but it's a thousand and, gold. And so, uh, Liam, it's it should be in your inventory. Oh, you had oh, I was in your okay. equipment. Yeah, and it okay. gives a description of what it does there. Nice. So, will you join us, Queen? Your game is oh, over. Since you helped us, I don't see why not. Oh. Get uh, and it's uh, she's uh, let's see, some I'll other see ones. It in my inventory. It should be under your equipment. Oh, I see yeah. it. I see it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I want to ask her about the little food truck down there at the bottom. I mean, the uh, the, the, the theater, the, yeah, the theater truck. Yeah, does she know theater about truck. that? Yeah. <laughs> So oh, well, that just travels around everywhere. Oh, it gets it gets around. It does very slowly, but it gets around. <laughs> and you, as you as you're chatting with uh, the queen here, you see you see six other one, two, seven. Okay, so another five corids kind of meld out from the stones, <laughs> their respective stones, <laughs> and start kind of gathering around you. And, Yay! Yay! Are they cheering for us? So, Yay. how what what aid can you give us in a fight against Creepy Lynn? Uh, let's see. Your chess skills are impeccable, but we need something more tangible. Are you talking about the Queen's chess in public? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All her pieces. That would be a rook, you mistake. We can, we can at least give you some information. If I'm, I'm not sure how much of a fight we'd help put up, but um, uh, we we haven't had these large gatherings at Luckray Henge for a very long time. Uh, we fear the consequences of the meddling from the Briganox and Creepy Land. And, uh, we kind of... Uh, secluded ourselves in the safety here. Um, we know that you can use uh, iron shears to cut off locks of, uh, of my hair. Uh, that you, let's see. Do you need a haircut? Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Bitter, bitter <laughs> Your hair is looking kind of wild. Uh. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I miss Roll for barber uh, skills. <laughs> yeah. I know. You cut the queen, you die. Okay, I see. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Um, All right. So, th so as they're saying, like creepy Lynn, some of them are saying uh, bitter end, as her name as well. So it seems like there's like multiple names for sure. Creepy Lynn. So you have Endel and Moongrave, Creepy Lynn, Bitter End, uh, just different hmm. aliases. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, so, uh, Indolin so Moongrave grave is a alias for Creepy Lynn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have tickets to see her. So, Good. so Good. The, the hag used uh, these shears to cut off my hair and, um, and and wove it into iron ropes and used them to manipulate uh, the theater. Her theater. There's a theater there. Her infernal mm -hmm. contraptions. Mm. Uh, she uses these contraptions that they call a orrery of tragedies 
to glimpse all possible futures. Uh, and these, the, I don't know if you've seen these, these copper, these tall rods around mm -hmm. Yon. They, mm -hmm. they channel the lightning to power the device. So this device lets her see the future? Yes. Interesting. So she already probably already knows we're coming then. <clears throat> That's quite possible. We should act well, surprised they're... anyway, though. There's sh some are shaped like the moon and some are shaped like the sun and there's something about the the, the moon the blocking the the sun. Yeah. It's called an eclipse. Yeah, there's but like the that. towers are shaped like those. Uh, I'm glad you noticed that because I forgot. So as she's uh, as the, this conversation kind of winds down, the, um, the cords grind their teeth and stamp their hoods as. As the faint sound of pickaxes tapping on stone is carried to them over the wind, oh. uh, Queen Argental runs to a boulder, picks it up, and hurls it a hundred feet in the direction of the noise while she screams, Death to the Briganox! <laughs> uh, uh, appeal of Thunder Company is her display of anger. So, <laughs> and so she throws it towards, like, what on the, on the map there's like this big tall tower, it looked like just to the east. Okay. <laughs> So it's like a gesture hmm. throw. She actually is not hitting it. She's just yeah. when the moon, like, like I bite my, I bite yeah. my thumb at you, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, she wasn't throwing it at them. Like they're not that close. She's just throwing it at them. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, definitely, I think we should we should investigate these brigandots if they're in league with Creepy Lynn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you guys think? It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. The brigandots are are helping Bitter End to build those wicked contraptions. Oh. They also they also hide the schematic diagrams for new contraptions in their mind. Oh. Uh. Yeah, this noise is awful. Mining and stamping. Right. It seems like we have to figure out how to take down these towers too. May yeah, maybe the blueprints could be useful. Yeah. We've heard of a of a secret tunnel guarded by the Gale of Door. <sighs> Within the mine that leads straight to the Motherhorn. Oh, the fool's mm. scepter is the key. So we try to keep them at bay as best we can. We've put uh, statues in our likeness around their mine. To frighten them. Well, like scarecrows. Does that work? Are they, are they frightened? Are they, yeah, are they scared of you guys? We haven't seen them for a while, so I assume it's working. Uh -huh. hmm. ah, Maybe we okay. can disguise ourselves as y'all. She seemed too tall, though. Maybe we could just take some of you guys with us. We could show you the way. That'd be great. And then come with us. Just we, run we in front of us. We probably want to take advantage of your hospitality, though, and stay here at least tonight. Yes, we must stay. We must celebrate. We must, we must dance. And so, she says <laughs> that. Like, you see two, two, uh, two, two chords drum on the boulders. As other stomp the feet jump around. Uh, jump around. This, this, this line lights up. <laughs> jump with, around. Uh, the wind dies down a little bit with, uh, with wild grins of wilder hair. The dancing chords beckon you to join them. I think I'm what do you guys thing. eat up here? Do y'all just eat rocks? Uh, let me show you this. Stuff. Just curious. <laughs> oh, I definitely want to dance. <laughs> All right. So anyone who uh, yeah. can dance. If I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna be like, I want to rock. A, a either <laughs> athletics or performance check. Uh, Alas, I only watch. dance the courtly dances of my homeland. Is there a bonus that's gonna come from this? Should I pop blade singing so that I can dance really well? Yes, oh, it's a check. Definitely. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I get a plus one on this. Does blade Does singing help your your performance? <laughs> blade singing is a uh... thirteen. I get a plus one because my stone. Okay. So it's 16 and 13. I gain advantage on dexterity acrobatics checks. Come on, Ulrich. And... Party some. Alas, I cannot. Do it, do it at night or yep. courtly dance. I, I, I am only familiar with a handful of courtly dances, and, and this does not resemble them at all. Did you say athletics? 
Uh, or athletics or performance. Courtly dances no. are like lion line dances. You, if you don't know the steps, then you shouldn't be shouldn't be out there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Misu and Liam. Yeah, you, you, you're trying to get the dance steps, but you weren't quite getting it. I, I like how catch his me. whole magic is based off of yeah. dancing. And he, uh, can't even dance. Catch me seems to catch on. It said pretty, acrobatics, pretty easily. Not, like not there's still performance. So still a few steps that you didn't quite get, but you were, you were able to <laughs> get pretty well. So um, I'll have to figure I'm out. At, I am in half plate, so I don't know how to do this dance for you here. <laughs> maybe you can incorporate taking that half plate off into your day uh, maybe it was, I was doing the robot that's <laughs> <laughs> so now Kashmir you, ha you have learned a uh, the Corrid jig <laughs> it's like river dance to, the most intimidating I'll, dance in this town I'll have to figure out how to, how to do this for you and yawn the most intimidating dance in yawn the Corrid jig the Corrid jig yeah all right, so yeah, you guys can, you guys can camp out, get some rest. They'll, you know, scrounge up some whatever I want to flora rock. that they can to prepare for you. And it's actually a decent meal. Like they got. It's not rocks, right? Okay, it's, it's not real rocks. Food? No, they, okay. they they'll find some stuff for you. Okay. At least. What do they eat? I'm just curious. They eat. Same um, food. Yeah, like some. Like pretty much whatever they can find, some mostly rocks. <laughs> okay, there you go. Mostly rocks. Mostly oh. rocks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, I feel my combat abilities have returned. <laughs> it's like I have more spells all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> I feel more more fireballs brewing. Yes. That was some spicy pasta. What about you, Kashmir? Do you feel any balls? <laughs> are, I do, and they are they are fiery as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Did someone say they need to lay on hands? What? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody touches these balls. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> yeah. right, so, uh, I think we'll probably call it there. Nice. That's good. My wine is catching up to me now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so you got, you got some other places you can investigate next time. The plot thickens. Sounds like this mine's a good place to go. I think so. I mean, we're going to the yeah. castle anyway, and then there's a secret tunnel to the castle, so yeah. sounds like a good good idea. But she, she knows we're already going to use the secret tunnel. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So clear your so, mind, guys. We can't do anything we think about. We have to just randomly do stuff. It has to yeah. be random. <clears throat> so random choices, everybody. Which random choices. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was great fun. That was fun. Yeah. Awesome.